Good afternoon. It is a little bit afternoon. Uh, so, really quick, we have a candidate. Uh, after 46 tries, we believe God has led us to uh, this man. Uh, it was about six weeks ago, I was sitting uh, in the service, and I was thinking about our list of what we were looking for in a pastor, uh, as Pastor Ben was preaching. Uh, and as I went down the list of what we were looking for, he just kept checking all the boxes of things we were wanting. Uh, prayed about it and discussed the idea with a number, uh, another member on the pulpit committee to see if it was a good idea, uh, and he agreed. Uh, and then I brought the idea up to the pulpit committee, and we weren't 100% in agreement at first, which is kind of how we looked at every candidate. Uh, and we, we set ground rules really early in the game and said, if we don't have 100% agreement, we're not going to pursue a candidate. And so, um, you know, just like we did with all the other candidates, we waited, we prayed about it, and within a couple of days, we all had consensus, consensus that, that this is something that we should pursue. Uh, I believe this is a good and healthy uh, a way to approach things. Uh, so I approached the pastoral staff and spoke with several staff members about the idea, uh, and they were also in full support of Pastor Ben becoming the senior pastor. Uh, we then presented Pastor Ben as a candidate to the deacon board several weeks ago, and we were in agreement on Pastor Ben as the senior pastor candidate. Uh, pastor Ben submitted... Oops. Uh, Pastor Ben submitted a resume and answered the questionnaire we gave all the candidates before we interviewed him and his wife, Sarah, with the deacon board. Uh, Ben's resume, the questionnaire, and the interview questions and answers are all available on the welcome desk uh, for any eligible voting members to pick up and read through. Uh, I think it's, are they on both sides or just one? Both sides? This side primarily? Okay, so mostly on this side if you want to pick one up. Um, yeah, real. Throughout the whole process, we've tried to do right by our church, as well as any candidates that apply for the position. Uh, and with that in mind, the kind of the suddenness of going from no candidate to a candidate without the typical notice. Uh, typically, it's been two weeks' notice, someone was coming, and then you have, uh, they'd, they'd speak, and then it'd be another two weeks before the vote. Because of that, uh, and, and per the church constitution, you know, with that two weeks' notice, but just with how things went, we wanted to give people four weeks so that way you can really have time to answer your questions. We, we didn't want anyone to feel rushed, like we went into this really quickly. And so if there's any questions you have, um, you know, if you want to talk to any pulpit committee members, if you want to talk to a deacon, if you want to talk to Pastor Ben about anything, we just want to make sure everyone had plenty of time to get clarity on anything uh, and, and just to know that we're not trying to rush through anything and like, hey, we got this guy, now let's push through. You know, we want everyone to have plenty of time to pray about it and to get any questions you've got answered. So... Uh, just as a recap, uh, how this whole thing's kind of gone, uh, gone through, Pastor Ben wasn't on our radar when this whole thing started, uh, and he wasn't really interested in it either. So uh, it was something that over time we saw the qualities that we want in a senior pastor and shown through his actions and teaching uh, while filling in as the interim pastor for these past eight months. And God has worked on uh, Pastor Ben as well in this uh, to apply for the position uh, I believe this is who God has led us to, but we also understand he is still young in the senior pastor experience position. Uh, and so before we really committed to everything, we wanted to make sure uh, we had some support structure in place to help him as he potentially takes on this mantle, so to speak. Uh, and Pastor Gary has, has very graciously volunteered to mentor Pastor Ben and continue to aid him in whatever he needs here in-house with counsel, uh, help developing lessons and sermons, how to handle different situations, etc., uh, and also Outside of our church, Rick Hudson has also graciously accepted to help mentor Pastor Ben on a regular basis to help him see kind of the big picture, not just what's in-house, but also see what's going on uh, outside of uh, just the Lima community so he doesn't get too inward focused. Uh, and as an aside, when we started this whole senior pastor search, uh, the first time we reached out to Rick, he said something to the effect of, why are you asking me for candidates when you already have the guy? And that was back in January. Uh, and so every time it seemed there was a conversation, he would say that same thing again. Uh, and so it was kind of interesting how this kind of all came to a head. But uh, in closing, in four weeks from today, so July 9th, we will vote on Pastor Ben as a senior pastor for Lima Baptist Temple. Uh, his resume, the questionnaire, the questions and answers from the interview are all available in the Welcome Center. 
If you have any questions you would like to ask any pulpit committee member, deacon member, or Pastor Ben, please come ask. Uh, please be in prayer about this for God's will to be done at our church and that throughout all of this process it would be to the furtherance and glorification of God's name and God's kingdom. Pastor Gary. Thank you, sir. First thing I realize is I'm getting old. <laughs> Should this go through, Ben, you will be the fifth pastor that I have been here with. That's a long time. I want to tell you a little bit about what I have seen over the years that I have been with Ben. I have noticed excellent, extremely excellent leadership ability. After all, he did uh, champion the cause of state farm insurance for many years, build it into a thriving business, and his leadership ability is uh, beyond compare. Uh, he is excited, he is enthusiastic, and he is educated. Uh, most of you don't know that someone who goes to Cedarville University automatically gets a minor in Bible. So he has many Bible classes behind him. He is at the present time uh, studying for his master's degree, and uh, he is a candidate that has extremely good leadership ability. Now, as John mentioned, preaching, uh, that's a thing that some people look at. I want to tell you, if you have enjoyed Ben's preaching over these past months, I want to assure you he's only going to get better because the only way to get better at preaching is to preach. And if he has that opportunity, he's going to get better and better all the time. As John mentioned, I have uh, said that I'll stay around and help Ben in whatever way I can uh, and uh, be his right-hand man. Whatever he needs to do, I'll be willing to do it and to help him in any way that I can. As I've said before, I am a great believer in the way that God works through our everyday experiences. I believe we find the will of God for our life in the Bible and in our prayer life, but also in our everyday circumstances. And just as John mentioned, it happened to me back when I became senior pastor, I heard the same thing. Why should we look for another candidate when we already have one here? And that happened to me, and now it's happened to Ben, and uh, I hope you'll pray about it. I believe that that's how God works, and God's leading. He hasn't opened up any other doors, and so uh, I ask that you pray about it, and uh, we see what God has for our church in the days ahead. Let's pray. We ready to pray? We ready to pray. All right, let's pray. Lord, we thank you. We praise you for your goodness to us. Thank you for the opportunity to hear your word today. May we be, as the word of God says, hearers of the word and doers of the word of God. May we take into a open heart the word of God and let you work in our lives to show us what we are to do. And so, Lord, we ask for your blessing and your leadership in the days ahead. In these days, I pray that you might make your perfect will known to us and as we vote four weeks from today, we pray that it would be the will of God and the leadership of God, whatever the decision is that we make. And Lord, we pray as we're dismissed today that we might follow your word, listen to your spirit, and be those people who you would desire us to be in the presence of others that they might see Jesus Christ in us. Dismiss us with your blessing. We'll thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.